Hi friends! So emails can be kind of intimidating and frustrating for product-based businesses sometimes, especially if you're an indie business, just one person running the whole show, um, because it can seem kind of direct. It can seem, I don't know, there's a lot of like mindset stuff around sending to emails because you're going directly into someone's inbox. So I think today I'm going to talk about like five different types of emails that you can send to your email list because if you send with a purpose then it's a little bit easier instead of like sitting there at your computer going oh I know I need to send an email but I don't know what to send so I'm gonna give you a little bit more purpose behind your emails these are things that I send to my list I have been cultivating my list for years and I have thousands of people on it which is amazing and um, these are people that I know are my supporters these are my core folks who are into it they gave me their email and um, that's a big deal so for the people that open my emails I want to treat them well I want to give them stuff that's interesting to them and relevant to them so um, let's talk about what I think are five great emails to send your list before I get into it though, if you are into making enamel pins or running a small creative business, give me a subscribe um, and hit the bell, turn on notifications. I do videos once a week and a lot of times they are just fun uh, studio vlogs or pin collection videos, but I go very in depth into making enamel pins and um, kind of sharing my knowledge around that world. So if that's what you're into, give me a subscribe and now let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so my first tip is to email regularly. So I like to do once a week or once every two weeks just so people don't forget who you are and uh, subscribe. This is a true story. I've been going through my email list and I had a lot of cold subscribers. So those are people who signed up um, but then haven't been clicking and opening emails for the last like couple months. And when I was going through there, I saw a pattern last year. I took a break. I didn't create a whole lot of kind of regular content and because of that I, I just stopped emailing and talking to a segment of my list and I, can, I could see where people were active and opening my emails and then after that kind of three month break when I started emailing again it was nothing. It was crickets. So learn from my mistakes and try to stay regular. Even if it's once a month, you know, you can tell people I email my subscribers once a month <laughs> and then they know what to expect and um, they're not, uh, they don't forget who is emailing them and then they look forward to your emails. So that's just a tip regardless of anything else. Um, but one good thing that you can send regularly is like a roundup kind of thing. So this is like things that happened in the shop this week or for the last couple of weeks so you can talk about any sales that you had, um, Instagram posts that did well, uh, questions that people asked you. If you put out any other content or have any kind of news to share, you can round all that up in a specific email like every Friday or whatever day you choose. These are great because you can get a lot of information out to your customer. You don't want to make it like too huge, like this enormous like blog post that they really have to slog through. Um, but if you can have a few points to just kind of get to quickly, then that can be engaging for them. And then people can kind of click out and sort of see what's relevant to them and uh, really get something out of the emails that you send. So the second one is kind of along the same lines as Roundup, but it's a little bit more specific. So sending out specific news. This is stuff that is brand new. You want to tell people about launches that you're having. You want to tell people about sales that are going on. You want to tell people about uh, events that you're taking part of, whether virtual events or in-person events, when we can all do that again. <laughs> um, so this is very specific and driven. Like, this is where you can find me. This is what's happening in the shop. You need to check it out now. Um, a lot of times it can be things that are time sensitive. So if you are having a sale for a certain amount of time, um, or if you have a launch coming up that launches at a specific time, this is a good place to use something like a countdown timer. 
Uh, I like to use Motion Mail because it's free <laughs> and you just put a timer in your email and that kind of creates urgency for your customers and they can like physically see how much time they have left to either prepare for a launch or take advantage of a sale. So um, making sure people are up on all of your news is very important. <laughs> Okay, another one along the same lines as news is a teaser. So if you're having a launch and you want to specifically tease out something new that's coming, then you can send specific emails about that. You can send um, photos that are obscured, photos that just show a little bit of the pan, um, photos that show the back of things, things like that. So that's just another specific email that you can send. This is another great opportunity to use a motion mail counter so people can get excited for the launch when it comes out. And in the same vein as the teasers, I think it's a really great idea to give your email subscribers specifically an early look at what's coming out. So this makes them feel like they're in an exclusive group, they get to know things uh, before the general public does, before it's announced on social media, and then they can get really, really excited about it. All right, number four is uh, surveys. So this is a really great way. You can use something like a SurveyMonkey or a like Google Form, something like that, if you want to specifically ask questions to your audience. So this can be like a ooh, <laughs> this can be like a regular email. Um, excuse me, can I help you? Um, this can be uh, like a once a year big survey push so you know like what to produce for the next year or this can be a regular thing um, kind of like using your Instagram stories polls you can do the same thing in an email and then you can offer a discount as um, as an incentive for completing the survey so I think that's a really good option too and then the last one obviously is special discounts so the number one reason that people sign up for shop emails is for coupons. So it's a great way to get people in the door, giving them a coupon incentive, and then giving them coupons just um, for being there as a way to thank them um, for being some of your you know, biggest supporters. And I always know when I send out an email with a special discount for my email subscribers that it's gonna do well. And because these are my biggest supporters and I appreciate them immensely. So. Don't feel bad about sending to your email list. If one of these really struck a chord with you, let me know in the comments. I want to know um, which one you're gonna do next. Um, let me know if you have an email list at all. I'd love to talk about it. They are so, so important to our businesses, especially right now. And um, just being able to get in touch with people, because the best thing about email lists is like, Mark Zuckerberg owns Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that, but we own our lists. So these are people that are here for us and um, we can make our own terms and how we communicate with those people and how we treat them and nurture that relationship. So let me know in the comments. Um, if you want to check out a little bit more uh, about email lists, you can check out the webinar. It's about Instagram and I have a little section on emails. I go into a little bit more in depth in it there. Um, so you can check that out in the link below. Um, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you next week. Bye.